Hello beautifuls. How's it all flowing? It's cold. The temperature dropped out here like like 20, 30 degrees in like a day. So, but I wanted to be out here so you can hear all the birds and get some nature therapy medicine like I've been getting the last couple days. So, I've just been taken on like this really deep, deep, deep dive. And yesterday, Friday night, I had a really big purge. Like if you saw my stories, you saw like I was eating pickles and it's like my inner child was trying to show me like some memories and everything started to click in my mind, like click, click, oh my God. Oh my God. And then I called my friend, Doug, my mentor. And I was like, I don't feel right. Like, I feel like I, my inner child is trying to show me something and I'm like not having it and I'm blocking it. I said, but the only thing is I'm having this craving for pickles and cashews. <laughs> and then as I was talking, that's what triggered some memories and it was related to my dad and um when you know when i was little and it was this trip to disneyland anyway i was having this pounding headache and like i couldn't get like my body like everything was hurting and my head was pounding and i'm like what the heck you know like i understand that i'm stopping coffee but it was happening before that so, I made some hot tea. It's like 30 degrees. <sighs> Channeling Hoffman or Wim Hoffman <laughs> or whatever, Wim Hoff, the guy, Iceman. <sighs> okay, I might have to go inside. No, I can do it. Cultivating that inner fire. Yeah, I pulled the fire card. Yeah, inner that inner fire. Here it is. Being challenged by that. <sighs> okay, so anyway, the pickles. So it brought me to these memories and these triggers. And that's how this healing process works. If we're sensitive enough. If we're tapped in enough to understand that every thought that we have produces chemistry. Every thought that we think produces chemistry in the body. So there was this unconscious, subconscious thing that was way deep down in there that was activated and ready for me to see it and deal with it and transform it or transmute it or rewire it. So I went into my kundalini yoga practice Friday night with that intention to reprogram some of these trauma memories. And I had one of the deepest kundalini yoga moments of my life. And, you know, it was, it was interesting because of course everything is aligned and everything is perfect. And in one of the last uh, asanas, the last postures, we had to do this thing where you went like this and breath of fire. And you were bringing that energy and pumping the lower energy up into the higher chakras, right? And so, and it was about opening the heart. <laughs> so it was hard for me. Like I was like, I can't, like, I can't fucking do this one. Like, it was, like, oh, frustrating me. So I was, like, channeling that frustration and, like, using my inner power to, like, work through this, this, this position and breathe through it. And then once we finished that, he's, like, okay, now lay down and relax. And I was, like, okay, cool. And I tried to lay down. And I was in so much pain in the back of my heart it felt like a hundred daggers just like inside of my heart in the back of my heart and i was like oh my god i don't know if, i don't know if, like did i hurt myself like whoa did i hurt myself and 
my guides were very clear came in and they said just don't listen to him on the teaching listen to us it's okay what you're feeling feel it it's okay to move don't you can't relax right now that's fine just move and so like i was moving and i was like ah oh, ah oh, twisting and then all of a sudden i lay back and i just channeled this most ah, loud yelp swear to god it felt like i was releasing like thousands of past life suffering moments with that yell and then the pain subsided so i learned this in tantra in my tantra teacher training that energy follows sound and that's why it's so important to open the throat chakra and to make sounds even if we don't know how to say what we're going through or what we're feeling but to make sometimes make a sound about it like you know i'm feeling uh i'm feeling ah so sound helps to move the energy that's why i think so many of us are starting to do like kirtan and finding our voice and singing and uh, chanting because it's really helping us to move the energy and to move our uh, kundalini so that's what was happening Friday. And then I had a interesting day on um, Saturday, and just hung out with nature. And what did I do? Whatever it doesn't matter because oh, here's what happened. I kept being guided to. Take myself on a deeper journey that I feel like I, I was I was like on the brink of something really big and I just needed a little extra help to rewire some of the neurons or the, the some of the neural pathways in my brain that were harboring or connecting the trauma because I really this year my intention is to like awaken myself and to un, un, unblock myself so that I can be of service in the world and the message that keeps coming back is like we can only meet someone else as deeply as we've met ourselves and so I've made it my practice to really really meet myself and really really like know myself so that I can understand and, and support and hold others while they go through their process. So Saturday night, I'm like, let me just like chill out and watch a Netflix. I haven't done that in a while. And I get on Netflix and like on the like recommended big thing, it says Goop by Gwyneth paltrow i think her name is and i was like oh someone I, I saw that someone put was it shayla i think it was who put it in her story and i was like let me try it first thing the first episode was about magic mushroom journey and i was like ha huh, okay i hear you and if any of you have done like a psychedelic journey I always do it with intention. It's for medicine. And it can be like nerve wracking, you know? Like, okay, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go into myself and like face my sometimes demons, sometimes joys, but a lot of times we journey with Mother Earth's medicine to deal with some of the the, the, the dark stuff right so you know there's always a little resistance but my guides are really good at like showing me like it's time Nikki it's time you're in the woods you're in your element you're alone and I don't recommend this for everyone because it's not for the everybody okay but I'm very connected to nature and I've been alone a lot only child hi birdie and so 
Sunday morning I woke up and I was like, all right, let's do this. Did my little meditation, made some cacao, got my little chocolate. I probably took less than a gram, but that's all I need because I'm very sensitive. So it was all I needed. And there I went. Thankfully, there was this thing I downloaded by... I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll put the name of the person, but there's a whole mushroom music for practitioners. And I played that the whole time, thankfully, because I was taken to so many deep places that the music actually helped me through. And a few of you actually came to me while I was in some of the really dark parts. <laughs> Not dark, but, you know, the hard parts, the rough the rough riding moments. So, I would, you know, we're never really alone, you know? And I had my teddy bear with me as my babysitter. <laughs> and the clouds, and, you know, it was so beautiful. It had been a long time since I've, I, you know, over how long? It's been a while since I've done more than like a microdose. So, I had my intentions and they were pretty strong so that's what came and I won't go into too many if you have questions about that you know you can you can message me deep healing is what happened and that is what's happening my inner child came through so so clearly and so strong and showed me memories that were so deeply locked inside of me. And I just had to hold myself and feel it and experience it and remember that life is precious and our children are precious and they remember what it's about. And what came to me to share is like, I was like looking out at this beautiful, beautiful scene and the wind was blowing strong. Like it is like way stronger than it is right now. And I was just seeing it like dance through the, the leaves. And I was just like so amazed and so just in awe of Mother Earth and Mother Nature and and this this planet and I felt so deeply like I'm not even afraid of death. I'm not afraid of dying. What I'm afraid of is missing this and not fully being present with the glory and the, the beauty and the, the magnitude of this gift. And that just like brought me into such deep tears because I felt like I was feeling all the moms and dads and, and adults, humans who have forgotten the magic of life and who have forgotten the, the wonder of this world and maybe that's my purpose you know maybe that's gonna be my purpose to to remind us no matter what our age is that life is magical and we're meant to enjoy it and not forget what our little inner childs know and what our children know it's the moment it's the now it's the the presence is our power and and being together and playing together and and rising together week I love you so much thank you for all your comments and messages and I'm just loving just connecting on this deeper level oh, I see you